Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I am so very excited to have you guys with me right now. It's a little interesting because I'm filming at a time that I don't normally share and pull messages. I think it's around four o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't know about you guys, but that is not my divine intuitive channeling time, but I really feel it right now. And on top of that, it's Sunday and I normally record on a Monday, but anyways, I'm just gonna go with it because I'm having a beautiful day. All day yesterday, I was sitting with my mom whipping body butters and moving the, the new hen house around. And maybe it's because I'm so well rested and so highly in tune with such beautiful energies of the women that are around me that makes me right now in this moment be so open and receptive to hearing what spirit has and also a friend and I decided to meet up and go to the water to go by the sea and shuffle cards and shuffle the oracle and it just got me in the mood man it just got me in the mood to get in the vibe and that's exactly what we're gonna do so for those of you guys that ask i'm gonna be working from the pre-raphaelette tarot with the ace of swords at the base of this reading so clearly we're gonna have some type of divine message here spirit guides i thank you so much for allowing us to have this moment right now i ask that whoever is listening to this message right now that they have the discernment and the power and the strength and the clarity to know what messages are for them and the messages that are for them give them the courage to face it give them the courage to see it give them the wisdom to know what you are saying directly to them this is a message for a general audience spirit but every single person has something i believe if they're drawn to this video or if they're called to be a part of the bahati vibe tribe or if they've been a part of the bahati vibe tribe there is something here for them to receive at this moment in time Whatever the case may be, whatever their current circumstances, whatever path they're taking, whatever is in front of them in the future, guide them and bless them and give them peace. Surround them in stability, surround them in support, surround them in love. What do you see for us for the week ahead, beautiful angels? What do you wanna to reveal to us? What do you wanna share with us? What do you want us each to know? One thing, okay, wow. Something is coming through, but I'm getting a massive blockage. There's something that divine, your spirit guide, your spiritual team is trying to give to you, a message that they're trying to deliver to you, but it's like, um, it's not downloading. It feels like they're, I'm getting a computer. I'm getting the vision of a computer and the computer is like, has like a, it needs like a software update. And I feel like this is a representation of something that you guys are trying to receive, like an update in your life. But in order for you to do that, you're going to have to take the time out in order to do the update. This update is going to come directly from the divine source. Wow. Look, it's nine of cups. Nine of cups is at the base of this reading. So there's a message, a blessing, a wish fulfilled, something that is going to update and upgrade your life, but you're gonna have to, it's like you're you're missing a step or you're missing a process or you're wanting to jump right into the next thing. And the, the thing is, guys, is that if you don't take this time to take a step back or to update in your life, whatever that thing is, right? Then you're gonna have to operate without this new addition without this upgrade without this new security protocol without this so spirit is saying that this is the week where you are going to have to focus on the upgrade the update some of you guys i'm seeing you guys revamping a website some of you guys are going to be i'm seeing like a collective like you're connecting with a collective group a new friendship circle something that you've been putting off, people that have inspired you, but you've been putting off. Some of you guys might be actually doing home upgrades or home updates, or you're gonna start booking appointments in order to do that. Some of you guys might be taking classes. It, for everyone's, it's gonna be different. Some of you guys are gonna be signing up or investing in new 
a new health related program or something. Some of you guys are finally going to start going for that walk. It has everything to do with your happiness, your joy, your blessing, your health. Wow. Look, Knight of Cups, you guys, this is such a funny vision that is I'm getting, but it's that notification that keeps coming through that says, we're trying to upgrade your system. We're trying to update your system. Your storage is full. And that's such a specific message, but it's like, okay, it's time for you to now empty out your files, empty out your house, empty out your, your phone, delete old text messages. When was the last time you looked at your contact list and and decided, okay, this person should, you know, is someone that I call, or this is someone that I don't call, or this one I haven't talked to. This is a person I met randomly in a bar. And we've never talked a day in our life. These are things that it's like clearing out the space makes room for more space. Or let's say you're use something to film. Like this is a perfect example because I have. To, it's funny that I'm saying this because I have to do this when it comes to my own MacBook, but. It's like having all of these unnecessary duplicates of things or this uh, this baggage or this trash or this buildup of clutter is stopping you from being able to advance yourself in some way. So what do you need to declutter? And I'm really feeling like the Knight of Cups showing up here is this message that keeps prompting you to be like, review this, review this, update this, disconnect this, delete this. Um, I'm also, interestingly enough, I'm seeing a lot of you guys... I just heard the lighter the load, the further you can go. Um, and some of you guys have been so caught in this mindset of the more that I carry, the more my worth, my value. And spirits like, you know, just go ahead and leave. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but leave it in the desert. So take off all of the baggage, take off all of this unnecessary stuff. Like, why are you carrying um, bird feed out in the desert? Like, get rid of the bird feed and then replace it with a big jug of water and some jerky, beef jerky strips or dried fruit. You know what I mean? It's like you're carrying all these things, but you're going to ultimately end up slowing yourself down and the things that you're carrying are not going to serve you. Anything that you're being asked or called to get rid of at this, oh my gosh, four of pentacles reversed. This is literally the epitome of let it go. Why are you holding on to it? What purpose does it serve? Why is this, if it's friendships and it's connections, are you holding on to this connection? Are you holding on to this friendship or this thing because just to keep things in a good place? Maybe that person doesn't have good intentions. Maybe spirit has been guiding you to release this connection, release this person and trying to make them be more of a better friend to you or be a better person to you. This has to do, okay, some of you guys feel like you put in a lot of energy and effort into the connection or into this journey or into this path. Again, this is spirit saying the, the lighter the load, the further you can go. So yeah, these things that you may hold on to may have had some value or may hold value somewhere or to someone, but you have to, they not you have to, they are encouraging you to assess the current value that they hold within your life. Is it going to be worth the drama, the weight, the obstacle, the effort, the work that it's going to require? And don't worry about letting it go because something else is going to come forward. Something else is going to step forward. And now I'm getting this clarity. There's a lot of this, the energy of the body is coming from the left part portion of the body. So this has, for me, this is talking about feminine energy and your ability to receive. Um, I believe that we talked about this last week. This was feminine operating more from a masculine perspective, or maybe it was the pick a card reading that I did, but I didn't upload yet, but I will. Um, but this is feminine energy constantly operating from a space of, okay, wow, I just got a download of a mother, a new mother. Wow, okay. So I just got a download of a new mother, a new father, and the obligations, the expectations that they have within themselves. All of the book, all of the, all of the books, all of the information, all of the resources, all of the forums, all of what those who are doing their own path and spirit is saying, trust your gut with this, trust your intuition with this. The more that you bombard your brain, the more that you bombard yourself with information on this new baby and how to be the perfect person and how to be the perfect mother and how to nurture and what does this mean, the more that you are blocking out your own intuitive upgrade as this next level advanced you, 
And for some of you guys, it's not a mother or father figure that you have just become, but it's something that you are now responsible for taking care of. So, or something that has to deal with you leveling up in your life. So some of you guys are really afraid to let go because you feel like, you know, you work so hard to get thus far. You work so hard to have this group around you, have these friends, make these connections, investing, you know, invest in your education. And it's like, literally it all served. But when spirit is showing you, okay, when spirit is showing you that there is something else that is more prosperous, that is more plentiful, that is more abundant, it's time for you to take that path instead of you Talk to me about the moon card reverse. You guys, this just showed up and there's an additional message here. Let's talk about it. This has a lot to do, what I'm seeing is the two pillars that are normally in the moon card. This has to do with what happens if I cross that threshold. Will I have what it takes? Can I prove myself? Do Am I capable? Will I suffice? Am I enough? Is this enough? Is there enough out there? Is there plenty? There's a reason why you hold on to it and you are hoarding this thing or hoarding this person or afraid to let go of this person or this connection or this aspect within yourself because then what's going to be required of you are you going to be alone are you going to venture alone i keep getting this vision of the desert it's like you're out in the middle of the desert and you've you're a desert person or you're a person who knows how to adjust to an extreme lifestyle or extreme mindset so you know how rough it can be you know how dangerous this could be to be alone you know how dangerous it could be without water so you have learned to hold on to all of these necessity things all of these unnecessary things because they could one day pay off and god forbid you cross that next threshold god forbid you cross that next barrier and something is right there on the horizon waiting to beat you or throw you off guard or throw you for a loop and then what? And then you're looking at yourself like, okay, now it all ends because I didn't or because I didn't have or because this wasn't. And you guys are just really waiting for the war. You're waiting for the drought. Look, eight of cups, eight of cups. So there's something that you've been afraid to walk away from again. This is not a new thing. This, this is not something that I'm sensing is brand new. This is something that your body, soul, mind, spirit remembers from what you've had to say goodbye to in the past. And this is why you hold on to it. You don't want to feel alone again. You don't want to feel, look, death card reversed. It feels like everything was taken from you. It feels like everything was pulled away from you. And now you refuse to be caught off guard. You you hold on so hard because you don't want to have to go through that again. You don't want to be limited. You don't want there to be a limit level of abundance. But the thing is, is that again, the sun card is here, your happiness, your health, your vitality. And also the sun, man, let's talk about that. Having too much is a lot. Think about the sun. If you sit out in the sun after being in the dark for a week and a half, you're gonna love the sun's rays, honey. You're gonna love them. But if you sit out in the sun for too long, you're gonna need water, you're gonna be dry, you're gonna be, you're, you need to, you're, the sun is gonna burn you, you're gonna get hot, it's gonna be too much and it'll create a desert. So everything in balance and everything in moderation. Some of you guys might be stuck in a position lately of too much of a good time. Also the sun card, I'm getting an image of a child, again, like children or a new mother or new parents. Um, and by new, I feel like this could even, this is like under five years old. It's like you would, you think that you would have relaxed by now. Okay, five of swords. There's no judgment here, by the way, guys. Five of swords is, you're not gonna cat, dude. Five of swords is when you try to be prepared, when you try to be a warrior, you end up hurting yourself. So this energy is like, you're not gonna catch me off guard. You're not gonna catch me slipping. But you being so defensive and you being so overly prepared is what is ultimately hurting you in the long haul. Spirit is clearly saying that this has nothing, dude, wait till you guys see this. This has nothing to do with what others think. This has everything to do with your energetic burden. What is like hyper, I just heard, I just heard hyper consciousness. So like an over awareness or overdoing this, doing something too much, overly saturated. Okay, look, 10 of wands. All right, 10 of wands and the knight of wands. This is someone who has the passion, the fire, the zest to do it. But the thing is, is that you might be just doing too much and ultimately are end up five of swords, you're gonna end up hurting yourself. This is the weak spirit. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do. 
Spirit, I'm going to ask you what you want us to do. Oopsie. So these cards just jumped out. Wow, they said heal. But you also see how she's pouring out of her cup and pouring into herself. And this is your spiritual self. This is deeper healing. This is deeper cathartic cooling of the waters replenishment. It's also, do you also re remember the card? She was naked. She's not carrying anything with her except her, 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 her jug. She understands that spirit is going to nourish her in all the many different ways. And by acting from moving from a space of total surrender and total sacrifice of, of your weapons that you use to protect yourself is going to get you everything that is that you deserve. The justice card here. Everything is going to balance itself out. Everything is going to serve its purpose because you are ultimately going to be looked after from a higher power. The higher spirit is telling me clearly right now, we are watching all of the tiny details. We have assessed all of the good and all of the bad. And I say that in air quotes, everything has been assessed in order to get you the highest and greatest outcome. You are not going to be left abandoned. You are not gonna be punished for something that you didn't do. You're not, you don't need to be defensive any longer because we are reviewing and scanning and making sure that you are not gonna be caught off guard, that you will have everything that you need to advance, to level up, to be protected, to be abundant. Some of you guys have given a lot of yourself in the past. Again, this is not about newness. Yes. Wow, the Hermit card, Two of Cups Reverse, and the Ten of Cups. So some of you guys have given a lot of yourself in the past to connections, people, things, situations, businesses, whatever, that didn't value you, didn't contribute to you, didn't. I just heard they folded under pressure. When the heat got turned up, they folded under pressure. They made a lot of promises, or maybe you made a lot of promises, and when the heat got turned up and the pressure started to, to come on, that's when they folded and you literally stood there by yourself or they stood there, whoever they is and they, or whoever they are, they stood there and they ran or they crumbled or they fell or you fell when the pressure turned up and you're really scared. Can I do it? Once I hit this threshold or once we get past this point, can I count on myself? Do I have what it takes? Do they have what it takes? And I'm so used to being broken down. I'm so used to being abandoned. I'm so used to having to look out for myself that I cannot afford to put myself in a position, a place that it makes me vulnerable. So for that reason, I'm going to always be five steps ahead. That five steps ahead turns into five of swords, a type of energy where you being quote unquote five steps ahead means that you are on guard dismissive and tapping into a poisonous vacuum of energy is what I'm what spirit just said let's clear this energy out you guys for those that of you that ask this is the energy cleansing charge spray that I will have in this week's shop update which I'm so excited about you guys have been asking me look at my chickens You guys can't see my chickens, but I can see my chickens. Anyways, full shop update is this Thursday at BahadiLife.com. That's full restock of your fixed candles that you guys have been using insanely to manifest. Man, I wish I was better at since sharing my testimonials. But some of you guys, when you share your testimonials, a lot of you, you give me the details, the nitty gritty details in order to prove how synchronistic and how magical it is. But those things can also be very secretive. The lovers. This is something that is for you. And as I said that, it's like what is for you will not overlook you, will not escape you, will not run from you. Um, I'm also getting a revision of the upgrade, 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 download complete. It's like this notification that keeps coming through. And as I said that, a butterfly just flew right past my 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 door. There's this upgrade, this update that needs to happen. And Spirit is inviting you this week to clear out what you have been called to let go of. Because when you do that, you really are creating a space of, you're entering into a space of preparation is what Spirit just said. You're entering into a space of preparation. Um, some of you guys, I just heard your hope has been in a level, in a space of dormancy. Your hope has been in a space of dormancy, meaning like, it's been, I'm, I'm seeing the desert again. It's like something was lost and left in the desert and it just got covered over, covered over, covered over, which is so funny because I had a vision about this. Like 
randomly one day when I was out, I, I think I was taking care of my chickens or out doing the hen house. It wasn't when I was whipping up the body butters. It was something having to do with like tangible, like like really with, with like earth, you know? And um, I saw this sack, like this leather case, like a leather bag. And in that bag, it was so thick. This, le this leather was so thick, you guys. I don't know what animal it was from, but it was so thick. And someone finally, they were like running, they were running. I think they were, I don't, I don't think they were in a desert, but it was something really like barren. And they, they dropped it and they just couldn't go back because survival, they had to survive. And this leather sack, this leather bag that was left behind held their hope. It held their childish, their, their childhood, their feelings of being a child. It's like a child being forced to grow up too, grow up too fast or um, their heart, their hope, their, their wishes for a soulmate, their wish for love, their wish for a beautiful home a wish for to be the CEO of their own company. It's something that's so valuable to them. And when they lost it, they couldn't go back for it. And basically what this was, it was a metaphor. It was saying that something was lost in the fire. Um, sorry, I just got a notification on my phone about my battery, but something was lost in the fire and you never thought that you would ever be able to gain that aspect of yourself ever again. You thought it was gone forever. How do I even go back to the point where you morphed into and evolved into this more defensive, more protected, more mature type of person, a more callous person. And you ever wonder, can I ever go back to the person that I once was? And why am I sharing this vision with you guys right now? I don't know, spirit's just moving me to talk. So I'm just gonna go with the flow with this, but something is being regained here. Oh, okay, they're bringing me back. They're showing me, someone just dusted off the, the bag, this thing that was left in the desert. It was actually a bag of seeds. Like it's actually kind of giving me Jack Jack and the Beanstalk where he had these three beans, these three magical beans that he dropped and he just discarded them. What am I gonna fucking do with these? I've got nothing. And it's like, yo, those three magical beans, dude, you just got rid of everything for three magical beans, but those magical beans are gonna change your life. And all it took was a little bit of, I don't know, sun, water, light, you know, I'm not sure. And those beans started to grow, 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 and it changed his life forever. And that's what spirit is showing me. And, I, and the lover's card. So speak to us, spirit, about the lovers. Oh, I just heard some of you guys are expecting frivolity from someone or something. You're expecting it not to last. Here, I just heard, oh my God. It is so easy to see the dysfunction between you and me. Dun, 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 dun. Built a wall around my heart and never let it fall apart. Strangely, I wish secretly it would fall down when I'm asleep if you don't know. Yo, that just came through. Maroon 5. That, that song just came through. I heard frivolty. The word frivolty. Uh, which is funny because it's kind of giving me back, it's taking me back to a message that I channeled that song again, Maroon 5. If you guys can remember that message or if you can pull it up, I would love for you to link it down below um, in the comments. But I feel like there's a connection between that message and today. So there might be a connection to something of the past coming forward again now in the future. Interesting. Queen of Swords. She said, I'm not here to play no games, honey. I'm not here to play games. I've come too far. I've gone too long. I've already proven myself. I've already shown, I don't need to show any more of my self-worth. I don't know, need, need, I don't need to show my value. All of my credentials and all of who I am are here written on paper, point blank, period. You cannot change that. I'm hearing this. You cannot change this. You cannot take this away from me. If this is someone who's going for a job opportunity, it's like, I just heard the word bank account. Some of you guys are like, this is the proof of, this is my proof of how hard I work. This was not something that I just accrued, accrued overnight. This is years of me putting in the hard work. This is the proof. What do you, what can you contribute? Um, for some of you guys, it's a diploma. For some of you guys, it's how you operate as a, your history. People can talk about all that they are and say their value and, and say, oh, this is what I'm about. But like when push comes to shove, how do you show up? 
Some of you guys are now in a position, a lot of you guys are now in a position where you refuse to chase after or to tell anybody. You're not even going to waste your breath trying to convince someone of your worth and your value. You literally have no time for you. It's frivolity. This comes from a space of deep heartache. And spirit is co-signing this. They're just like, exactly. You can live, you can learn, and you could operate in this new expectation and this new um, minimum for yourself. You know, like this meta, this 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 line that you will not cross under. But at the same time, they don't want you to be callous. They don't want your heart to be closed off. They don't want you to lose hope and faith. Those three magical beings, I'm seeing that again, and spirit just pushing. It's so random. I just had a vision of someone. It's like a really petite person. Um, or they feel really petite. They have this, these two, it's three. Okay, no, it's actually three big black trash bags. And they just filled it up. And then they literally, they swing these. I don't know why you would even do this. Like all three bags at one point. You could do one at a time. But no, you guys are like, no, I'm getting rid of the clutter. Like you, I'm seeing you guys just being so like excited to be like, do you see all that I got rid of? Like I did this this week, seven days, eight days, 14 days. I did this. And it's like you swing this bag and you literally almost lose your balance. But you are just so have prideful, like good, like it's good. You're just like, yeah, I did it. And like, what else? You just taking things with you as you walk out because you're just like, what else can I get rid of? Because I'm ready. And it's just really funny. And it's just so funny because I'm looking at the desert right now. Like I'm looking at this desert scenery and this, you know, spirit kind of like using the wind to blow the sand off of these three beans. And then here you come with these three big bags, these big three big black bags that you're now going to just donate or get rid of or you know, move on. I just heard I'm ready to, I said, carry forth, like how I'm going to carry forth, how I'm going to hold myself. What else do we have here? Okay. Wow. So two of cups reverse and the 10 of cups wants to show up again. I just heard spirit was like, we're going to flip this upright. So this is what we want to operate into what we want to move into. And it's funny because we have the lion here, the lion's head at the top, and this has a lot to do with strength and healing. The body's ability to bounce back, the body's ability to, or the heart's ability to morph. I just heard that. The, the, the ability to be flexible, to morph, to adjust, to try again, to have hope again. All right, well, that wanted to come out. So we have, let's do it one at a time. We have Eight of Swords upright. Okay, with that, I'm getting a vision of someone in a plane and they are just, they're really waiting for all of the air to get sucked out of the plane. Um, I mean, I'm hearing, <laughs> it's not funny. I'm, I'm with you. I'm just, it's just funny how it's coming through, but I'm hearing someone like, it can happen, Jess, it can happen. It can happen, it can happen, it can happen. It's like, like you're just pushing on the things up here, making sure that the airbags work and just, yeah, it can happen. It's true, the air can get sucked out of the, out of the plane when you're flying it, but you're, a lot of times though, the plane lands, it goes up, it takes off, you, you coast, and then, then you land. And that happens a lot. And spirit wants to remind you that the worst can happen and maybe the worst has happened, but justice, justice card was here. And the truth is, is that you made it out alive. The truth is, is that you didn't allow it to stop you. The truth is you didn't allow you to stop you from getting on the plane right now. So now that you're on the plane and now that you push past this bar barrier, now that you push past your fear, we don't want you to expect the plane to fall out of the sky. We do want you to expect that we are going to get you to your destination. And even if it may seem like you might not get there because there might be turbulence or there might be a few bumps, there might be, um, you know, some bumps along the way, some things that happen, or maybe a flight was delayed or rescheduled or canceled. The end result is going to be, we will get you to where you belong. We will get you to where you need to be and we will get you there in one piece. And you don't have to worry about the worst thing happening now. Okay. 
high priestess some of you guys have don't even trust your intuition anymore you guys are doubting your own intuition um you feel like from your own perspective in the past the way that you saw things was not what they were you knew in your gut that something was off but hope the em the empathetic part of you wanted to see the best in someone and wanted to see, see the best in a situation and that's what got you in this mess so now you're like taking something bad that happened external and, and then internalizing it because you're like, I am now mad at myself that I allowed myself to trust. I allowed myself to love. I allowed myself to be rejected. I allowed myself to try. I had these interviews and I did these things and I launched this business or I did all this stuff and in front of the whole world it collapsed or didn't work out or whatever and i had to keep a brave face i just don't want to do that again spirit is saying invest okay regardless of i'm also hearing what has already been invested into is already starting to pay off so it's like what you've already put out there has already served a lesson or some goodness so i don't know why i'm seeing this but it's like if you were dating someone and that relationship didn't work out there's like friends around you or around them, the ex, that know how you operated in that worst case scenario. So they look at their ex and they'll just be like, this person was a douche in the situation, but look how he or she handled themselves within that situation. And it's like word gets around that this is a really solid, good person. So somehow because of the failure, there was a seed that was left planted. Somehow because of what didn't work out, there was something that helped you to advance, to upgrade, to level up in some way. I don't know what that is. I just know that I'm seeing it because I thought that this was a new seed, but it's like a seed that was already been planted. Yeah, the sun card here, I'm seeing this message of balance. Some of you guys are this week, you're clearing out the clutter, but you're also restoring, you're pouring into yourself, you're watering yourself. I keep seeing the sun card as the desert and what happens when there's too much sun. So if you are a person who has been spending too much time out with your friends or too much time um, in the laboratory working on your doing your research, if you're a person who spent too much time binge watching series on Netflix, if you're someone who spends too much time hanging out with their chickens, it's time for you to get out of your backyard. It's time for you to get out of your bed. It's time for you to get off your sofa. It's time for you to get out of the clubs. It's time for you to fill in the blank, right? And get to where it is that you need to be because too much of a good thing can turn into a blockage, a barrier, okay? So, Ten of Swords, that's what I'm telling you, Ten of Swords reversed, there's something that is ending here, something that has been ended here, something that you are saying goodbye to. Um, now is the time to let this thing go, and now the time is to, AKA, the Chariot card here, Three of Pentacles, reversed, move forward. Chariot card is talking about travel, yes, of course, but it's all about working with the good and the bad of the situation and just deciding for yourself, you know what, I'm ready to do this and I want to be a little bit more open to the right collaborations, to the right connections, to the right energy. Who is that? Where is that? Take me there. Take me there. I'm also hearing, I don't know why I'm seeing the Queen of Swords as Carrie Underwood, Carrie Underwood singing Jesus Take the Wheel. Is that who sung it? But it's it's literally country music. It's I'm getting country music and that whole like I'm gonna put on my boots, like I'm gonna put on my cowgirl boots, and I'm just gonna go out there and I'm gonna dominate the world. And sorry about that, guys. My phone again. But um, yeah, the last thing that I was saying was it's a person who's taking off their metaphorical cowboy boots and putting on some silk delicate slippers and healing. So that's the message that it is that I'm seeing for us this week is very, very beautiful, very cathartic. It's about the detox, the restorative, the balance. It's very active. And I think that that's actually really good. Some of you guys, you know, Spirit is clearly talking about the activity, the doing, and what can you do right now is just upgrading, updating everyone. I just heard Spirit say, call the shots. Some of you guys are stepping into this position of the ruler of your kingdom. What does that look like? What you need to be established here? What needs to be upgraded? What needs to be deleted? What needs to be thrown out? Start, literally start making some moves on that. I love that. Okay, so don't forget, like I was saying, that the shop update is this Thursday at, so it's going to be April 14th, I believe, whatever this Thursday is. 
April 14th at 1 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a full restock of everything from the fixed um, candles to custom oils to tarot magic oils, all of those things. And also, I'm so excited to release to you guys Queen Bee Homestead. This is going to be also the, the, the breaking ground of the body butters being beauty butters, but body butters being reintroduced back into our orbit. So I know you guys have waited for years. It's been maybe like four years or three years. What is time? But it's been a minute since you guys have had those body butters, your hands on those body butters. I know that they're highly sought after. And I've just, since I've had my home set and since I've had my home, I've been able to really tap into my Virgo side of attention to detail when it comes to beauty and physical. So that is there available for you. My mom and I spent this weekend whipping up the body butters and jarring them and um, I was showing her the ropes and then we did some tarot readings together. It was really, really cathartic and really grounding. And it was all about the quality time for me and for her, which we both really, really appreciate. And I just wanna really quickly say to you guys, thank you so much for being with me along this journey. It has been a long, beautiful, abundant, blessed path. And the fact that I'm able to even split into a new direction and evolve in front of the world with the world is something that I will never take for granted. I feel so blessed and so protected and just 1122 type of energy with me always and forever that the divine gets to or has been speaking to me all the different things that I can try on. And I never fear failure. I just, I just enjoy doing what I love and I am always so blown away by the enthusiastic response that I get for you guys time and time again. And it's an honor and a blessing to come th through for you in another way that brings me joy as I am evolving. I'm not the same person that I was in the beginning of my journey and nor was I the same person before that and before that and before that. I'm constantly evolving and I will continue to evolve. And I hope that, and I, I wish that for you guys, that you never have to settle, that you never have to say, okay, this brought me success and this is what made me so happy. And I can only do this one thing. The, the reality is, is that there's so many different things that you guys can do. Spirit was speaking to that to me from the very beginning and just saying like, if you think this is awesome, Jess, and if you, if you think it's great that you're gonna have this reach and you're gonna be able to share your magic in this way, okay, that's great, but prepare to have your mind blown because we are gonna have you show up in this way too. And you are you can enjoy all of it. These are all the different aspects of you. You're not pinned to any one thing. And I love that I'm able to do that. And I love that I'm able to share that with you. And again, the enthusiasm and the excitement is so rare and it's been so authentic and it's been so good for me and so appreciated by me. So I just really wanted to say that and thank you guys again for your lovely comments. Thank you guys so much for just being here. And I think our keyword this week is going to be, oh, I just heard, when you fly, I soar. That's the mantra. That's what spirit just said. When you fly, I soar. So if this message has helped you in any way, shape or form, Go ahead and give it that thumbs up video. Of course, you can sub sub subscribe and you should subscribe to this YouTube channel. But the comments are going to be everything. The, the mantra that I just heard, when you fly, I soar. Comment that down below. And that will be a wonderful way of saying thank you for sharing these messages with us. And thank you for sharing your time with us, Jess. And thank you for sharing your time with me. Until then, oh my God, I thought that bird was going to smack into my glass. Until then, you guys, I'm sending you guys all of my love. And I will see you in my next video.